Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. Today what I'm going to do a tutorial on is how tags work and uh, I know that this was a high demand for uh, many of you um, last week so I actually reached out to M Creator and uh, asked how it all works. So I know a little bit more about it and was able to figure out how to set up a basic recipe that uses tags itself. So I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on that. Uh, once you get the tag working, uh, what you can do is basically set it up without, with uh, other element uh, types as well that require tags or can use tags. So the only thing that you're going to need uh, mainly to set up a tag is uh, two or more elements or if you're using Minecraft items then you don't really need items uh, set up in your mod for that but um, uh, if you're doing it right off the um, like building it up from scratch and you grouping certain um, elements together to make it kind of like a universe uh, thing that are very similar in the category then you're going to need at least two um, items if that makes sense I'm not sure if it does it will make a little bit more sense towards the end of the video so definitely keep uh, tuned so um, the next thing that you're going to need is a tag element. Uh, this is just basically a rough draft on how I set up the tag element itself. I'm going to explain all this in just a second, but as you can see here we have uh, four settings. So let's hop into making a tag element. I'm actually going to uh, just keep that in there for the time being until I uh, make sure that the um, thing is set up properly. So first thing that you want to do is name your tag element. Uh, you can name it anything. I suggest using the word tag somewhere in it, either at the beginning or at the end. Um, let's call it leaf tag and then we'll put it uh, or create it and then what we'll do is explain how all this works. So tags and or directory both support um, basically grouping things. Uh, tags are for things that are uh, 1.13 or greater. So that basically means if you're running your mod on 1.14, you're gonna be using the tag system, not the or directory system. And if you're working on 1.13 or less, then you can use the or directory system, which has a little bit more support for a few other things. Uh, now, tag namespaces are basically um, allow you to uh, change uh, how Minecraft items work or how other mods work uh, when grouping things together. So you have two options down here. You have Minecraft uh, or Forge and then you have Minecraft. So I'm going to select Minecraft for this tutorial because uh, we're going to be basically building on to Minecraft, so this uh, section would work fine. Uh, we also want to name it something, uh, because we're working on 1.14, we're gonna need a tag, and you can select how all this works uh, down here. These are just quick um, uh, things that you can name uh, your mod in. Um, you want to avoid using caps, so try using lowercase. Uh, the most you can also use underscores for your tag names um, that's fine don't use spaces and only use English characters uh, because the name spacing is very important to be set up a specific way um, now this so far is perfectly fine if you were to uh, do uppercase there could be a potential problem uh, with it working properly so try to use lowercase at only and um, you know just regular English characters uh, don't use symbols like exclamation um, the pound sign or anything like that uh, that might also cause some issues with it compiling properly so uh, just use letters and uh, avoid numbers even so it's perfectly just one string of text so I'm gonna call it um, tag underscore um, uh, let's see, tutorial, or no, we'll just call it uh, leaf 
group. And we're gonna have to remember this, so I'm just actually gonna copy that now. And uh, so we got we explained how the tag namespaces work. Uh, now the tag type. Um, this is important to note that or directory only supports items, uh, the item category. So uh, because we're using Minecraft, it might support items if it's um, blocks generally. If you're using Forge, it will only support blocks, but uh, Minecraft, I've noticed that it works fine with items. So we're just going to set it up this way. And uh, for the element under the tag, so this is basically where you uh, group the elements together. So we're going to be basically grouping a few elements. So to do that, uh, it's like how you basically add biomes or dimensions to a list or even entities. You just click the green plus icon and then you group them together. So I'm going to group the leaves together. And uh, that's basically all you need to do to set up tags. Now if it doesn't work on, uh, say, items or something like that, you might want to play around with the Forge and Minecraft and uh, just make sure that you're uh, tag name is um, the same as what you use in the other um, elements to basically use it for that group. So uh, it would be a really good idea to write this down on a document on your computer or um, even on paper if you are more hands-on kind of um, for notes and stuff like that. So I'm just going to copy this because we're going to need that in just a second. And when you're done, just save it. And uh, we have the leaf tag over here now. I'm going to delete this one right here after it's finished compiling. So it'll just take a second. It's a little bit slower on 1. Point, um, or 2019.5. Uh, there's a little bit of bugs, so it might have a contributor to it running a little bit slower. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm just going to delete that one and I'm going to delete the recipe. So once you have your tag all set up, uh, what you want to do is go down to an element that allows you to select tags. And I'm going to use a recipe for this example, although there's other things like um, uh, blocks and procedures that would um, allow you to use tags as well. So. Um, it's not uh, required so much to uh, choose a recipe, but you can use it in other uh, parts of your mod as well. So recipe, uh, we'll call it recipe after, so leaf recipe, and I spelled leaf wrong, leaf, there we go. All right, so in order to set up a tag, what you wanna do is just create a regular recipe. I'm going to enable shapeless so we don't need to worry about um, trying to figure out what uh, slot to put it in. And uh, if you want to use tags, then you basically select the use tag slash or directory down here. And then what you want to do is paste in your tag name down here and just click OK. You'll notice that there's a tag symbol right where the um, thing is and I think if you hover over it it'll tell you the actual uh, tag name as well so that's all set up fine uh, now if we were to go over to the recipe part where we're actually creating the item I'm just going to create oak leaves select that and um, we're going to basically allow it to use either one of these um, items to make a oak leaf. So we're gonna save that, hop in game, and then I'll show you how it all works. So once you've created your tag and you're ready to test to make sure it works, uh, you're gonna need a crafting table or however you're going to um, use your, um, your actual tag and you're gonna need the ingredients to basically uh, test if it works or not as well. So uh, because we're using a recipe, all we need is a crafting table and uh, we need to right click on it and then we're going to test uh, to see if the leaf block actually shows up and test the, some of the other slots as well. And as you can see, the leaf block is climbing up for the red leaf, so that works fine. 
and if we select the orange leaf as you can see it also works uh, to be expected as well so this works perfectly fine for items if you're using the minecraft um, uh, tag element so uh, basically what this is doing though is grouping the items together and applying the recipe to it uh, it's very similar how uh, minecraft uh, basically creates torches with um, either charcoal or um, coal itself so hopefully guys you found this tutorial useful and know a little bit more about um, tags if you have any questions uh, you can comment down below i'll do my best to uh, help you guys with that um, i'm not sure how to use it on 1.12.2 or you know 1.12.2 but uh, hopefully this will allow you guys to figure it out on 1.14. It shouldn't be too much different. Um, again, if you have any, um, so basically if you have any other issues, it might be because of how this tag is set up. Um, mostly uh, because or directory uh, will use forge and tags are basically a Minecraft element, uh, like a Minecraft feature. So what you might want to try doing is basically changing the tag namespace to forge if you're on 1.12 um, and seeing if that works if it does uh, then that's great but if it doesn't try alterating the uh, tag type to block um, also making sure that your um, actual tag name is uh, something unique and also will uh, be compatible with other mods uh, possibly but making most sure that um, the namespace uh, only use lowercase English characters and uh, underscores for separating the uh, the words as well and that should help and um, outside of that um, hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below let me know what you liked about it and rate the video and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.